Hi, everybody. It's Jane. I'm here on this Friday afternoon. It's absolutely beautiful. March 27th, it's about 65 degrees outside, and I'm located in uh, Bristol, Rhode Island, where we are in the East Bay of Rhode Island, and um, about a mile away from Roger Williams University and 20 minutes away from Newport, for those of you not local. It is such a beautiful day. The cars are parading in and out of the park today, and a lot of people are off work starting the weekend early because of the COVID pandemic. During this time, what I invite you to do with me is practice yoga from your home either indoors or outdoors. You can bring your, your computer or your phone with you and practice some yoga with me. It's weird, it's really weird being here at the Kula Vinyasa Yoga Studio named by Lauren Mega. Shout out, Lauren. Uh, Kula means community. This is a community space. We gather here in the mornings and in the evenings to practice together. This is a little different. So I'll practice here, offering um, one hour's worth of practice based on Baptiste Power Vinyasa Yoga, a uh, style of yoga created by my teacher, Baron Baptiste. And you see in the background a book by the Buddha. Buddha's holding the book, Baron's book, Journey into Power. And this is my guide. So if you're interested in learning more, this is the book written in uh, 2000, I want to say, in the year 2000, and uh, you can get that anywhere on Amazon or something. So without any further ado, let's come into child's pose. I'll be changing positions from um, horizontal to vertical. So I want you to be able to see the pose if you need to. Otherwise, just listen. Listen to my voice and to the inner cues of your body. So you really only need one yoga mat or a beach towel or carpet. And you'll see here I have two blocks and a strap or maybe you improvise with something else in your home. If you have long hair, a hair tie will be helpful to pull your hair out of the way. And now sit back onto your heels and lower your hands down onto your mat coming into child's pose. So right away, you set your body into a shape, the shape of a child, and this is resting pose. This is a pose of ease. At any point in time during practice, you can come right here and take a break, and when your body and your intuition guide you, you can come right back to practice with us, with me. Take a breath in through your nose, deep and full breath, expanding your lungs. And then empty the breath out. Again, take a nice deep breath in through your nose. Exhale that breath out. And then one more time in this shape. Deep inhale through your nose. And exhale, lowering your head down onto your mat, your hips down onto your heels. And now walk your hands back towards your knees. Lift your hips up, bring your knees in together. And then let's sit for a minute. Sit for a minute on your heels with your knees bending. And if this position bothers you, you can sit in Indian pose or cross-legged position. The style of breath that we use in vinyasa yoga is ujjayi breathing. Ujjayi. It's referred to as a powerful breath. Uh, sounds like an audible breath. It's an audible breath. And I'd like to just demonstrate that for a moment. The ujjayi breath happens in your throat. The breath is coming in through your nostrils with your mouth closed, so try that. 
On the exhale, keeping your mouth closed, using the muscles in the back of your throat, you could even put your hand under your nostrils, air out of your nose, like you're fogging up a mirror. So maybe you take one hand by your, your throat, by your collarbones, just above your collarbones, and then take a deep breath in with your nostrils, your mouth closed, Keeping your mouth closed, feeling the muscles in the back of your throat, exhale the air out onto your hand. Try three times that way. Inhale. Exhale. Feel it. Enter. Feel it exit and also hear the sound that you're making in the back of your throat. One more time, inhale, and exhale. Rest your hands on your thighs and try that without your hands by your face. Inhale, one more, inhale, Adding a piece to this breath, inhale through your nose, exhale, and draw the pit of your abdomen back up and in. Put that together, inhale through your nose, exhale out of your nose, draw the pit of your abdomen in and up. And that's the breath style, that's ujjayi breathing. That's the breath style that we use in this yoga practice. So practice it as much or as little as you will during your practice today. Otherwise, you're breathing through your nose, out of your mouth. <sighs> Try not to just breathe out of your mouth unless you're stuffed up. Come on to all fours. Press your hands down into your mat. Curl your toes under. And coming into our second posture, downward facing dog. Come right on up. Setting up your downward facing dog, people ask all the time, how, how far away should my hands be from my feet? A nice measurement is comes from your high plank pose. So come into a high plank, high push up, really squeeze your muscles in your arms, chest and back and your legs. Press down on your hands and from your plank posture, lift your hips up, press your chest back, without moving your hands or feet. And that's a good distance from the front to the back of your mat. You can always change it up to meet your needs. More stability in your posture would be hands closer to your feet, more stable, more freedom. Your hands are further away from your feet. But coming from plank is a nice measurement, I find. Walk your feet up to the middle of your mat. Grab opposite hand to opposite elbow, and this is ragdoll pose. It's not about getting the pose right, about getting it perfect, about making it look a certain way. You're simply hanging your chest and arms over your legs. And then notice how this feels for you today. Make any little movements for yourself. I feel some pulling in the back of my hamstrings, so I'm gonna bend my knees. I'll even wrap my arms around the backs of my legs. So the direction for the fold is chest to thighs. And maybe a little more bend, or maybe a little less bend. The top of your head in the direction of the floor and your eyes, set them to one point behind you. Releasing your hands, toe heel your feet in together to touch. Press down into your big toe mounds, little toe mounds, and the center of your heel. We call that rooting. 
root your feet, rise your body up nice and tall, and bring your hands down by your side. Take a moment here to move your shoulders around, roll them back, and maybe even roll them forward. And then roll them back, and now pause. Right here, stacking your, your ears over your shoulders, and your shoulders over your hips, and your hips over your knees, and your knees over your ankles. Have your palms facing forward, and draw your shoulder blades in your back. Take a deep breath, ujjayi breath, inhale. Exhale, if you can, out of your nose. And draw the pit of your abdomen in and up. So for the purpose of energizing your body with that style of breathing, and the hugging in of your belly, we call that Uddiyana Bandha. Uddiyana belly pulls in and up, right? So it adds integrity to your, your and strength to your lower back. Inhale, stretch your arms up over your head. Exhale and bring your chest right back down over your thighs, hands to your yoga mat or the carpet in your home or a beach towel. Halfway lift, breathe in. So here, right, this is what we refer to as a neutral spine or flat back. Round your spine up towards the ceiling, and this is more of a rounded hunchback, right? And then loop your shoulders down your back and create a line from your ears to your shoulders to your hips. Go ahead and sweep your arms back. Right, so drawing your shoulder blades in, pin your deltoids in your back, reach your fingers back. Once again, fold over your legs. Halfway lift, once again, breathe in. You can prop your hands right on your knees. And now let's step back, step back into a plank posture. Moving through the poses of sun salutation A to warm the body. Lower your body all the way down to your mat. You can leave your hands right here or move your hands wider or further forward. Anchor down your legs and simply lift up your chest. Lower your chest down to your mat. Press yourself up onto your knees and then off your knees and come into downward facing dog. Press and press, press the floor down. Press it even more so you're not landing all your weight in your hands and wrists. Press the floor. Pull, pull your belly in and lift your hips up. Take a deep breath in, empty it out, bend your knees and walk a little hop to the front of your mat. Halfway lift, breathe in. Exhale and fold over your legs. Root on your feet, rise all the way up to standing. Hands to your heart, hands by your side. We're gonna move through sun salutation three times. Take breaks, do your best. And um, enjoy, enjoy this, just this exercise, this movement, this breathing, this day. Inhale, arms high. Exhale, fold over your legs. Halfway lift, breathe in. Hands on your mat, hop or walk your feet back to a push-up position and then a low push-up. Now you can put your whole body down on the yoga mat to lift your chest or lift your chest up to an upward facing dog. Pulling your heart forward, stretching your hip flexors and rooting on your hands and feet, come up over your toes for downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in, open your mouth and press, press the floor down. Internally spiral your legs back. Right, so downward facing dog is very active. 
We get strong and downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in. On the exhale, walk or hop your feet to your hands. Halfway lift, breathe in. Exhale and fold over your legs. Inhale, rise up to standing mountain. Exhale and fold over your thighs. Halfway lift, breathe in. From here, you can take a lunge back, one leg, and then the other, coming into your low push-up. You might come all the way down onto your yoga mat and then lift up into a cobra back bend or right up into an upward facing dog. Bending your back, stretching your hips, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in, empty the breath, press your hands down, lift your hips up. One more deep inhale, bend your knees, maybe a little bunny hops or one big hop to the front of your mat. Halfway lift, inhale, fold and exhale. Inhale, rise all the way up to standing. Exhale, fold back down over your legs. One more time. Halfway lift, breathe in. Hands on your mat, and you can lunge or hop your feet to the back of your mat. Low push up. Face your chest upward. Inhale. Downward facing dog. Exhale. Already starting to feel a little bit warmer and a little bit better. If you live in Rhode Island, I just and transitioning here from listening to our governor, Gina Raimondo, speak at her daily news conference. Speak to the front of your mat. Halfway lift, breathe in. So that's where I'm transitioning from. Exhale and fold. There's so much going on out in the world. And my yoga practice is a really wonderful way to give myself a break from the news to make an offering, fold over to the legs. Halfway lift, breathe in. Exhale and fold once again. Moving into a different series. Starts with a chair. So sit into an imaginary chair. Bring your hands to your heart and feel your feet rooting. Look at your knees, draw your knees back over your ankles and start to rise up your chest higher off your legs. This is Utkatasana. Now draw the pit of your abdomen in, take your arms out like a cactus, and then sit back, sit back, but lift up. Take a breath, extend your arms, inhale, and then on your exhale, fold over your chair pose, head towards your shin. Halfway lift, breathe in. Hands on your mat, back to the push up again. Back to the push up, low to the low push up. Face your chest upward. Inhale. Downward facing dog. Exhale. So, yoga for clearing, right? Yoga for clearing. Yoga for personal, personal experience. Yoga for a sense of meditation in motion. Just focusing on one thing at a time. Take your right leg up in the air, nice and high, and then bring your knee into your chest. Look at your right thumb and try to step your right foot right up there by your right thumb. If it doesn't quite make it, then you'll take your foot and help it forward. I did that for years and years. Lower your back knee down. Inhale your arms up over your head. And let's take a moment here to reach the arms back, stretch the back hip, bring the arms up, lengthen out your sides. Back you go with your arms, heart forward. This is a really good opportunity here on your yoga mat to generate energy 
And this time, come right up off your back knee. Bend into the lunge, 90 degree front knee, and assist your right hip in line with your knee. Take your arms up over your head, one big breath, and now hands come down in your mat, step back, hold your plank, and maybe you skip the low push-up this time and come right back to down dog. Or you can add in the flow, which is the high to low push-up, upward dog to down dog. Inhale your left leg high. And you might bend and stretch it a couple of times, maybe even make a circle. And take it high and low. Okay, your left leg, are you ready? Your knee's gonna come into your chest and step it right up to the front of your mat. Lower your back knee down. Take your arms up over your head. And then sweep your arms back like an airplane. Inhale. So, right, the practice is about so many things. And there are so many benefits and so many things to get for you, right? Gifts and gems for you, for yourself. Inhale from energy to uh, releasing physical tension to relaxing your mind a little bit, right? And now curl your back toes under, sweep your arms all the way up, bend into your front knee. This is crescent toe lunge. And then you can even take your left hand to your outer left hip and you're squeezing, squeezing your hips into the midline, hugging in. Take one more breath here. On your exhale, hands to your mat, steps back either with your knees down or up, lower your push-up, face your chest up, dog or cobra, and you could tap your knees down on this one, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in. This is the time to exhale out. Angst, any angst in your body today? <laughs> How many people in the world out of 100% would you guess that have some angst in their body today? Our world has changed. Take a deep, deep breath in, bend your knees, make some bunny hops, and then one big jump to the front of your mat. <laughs> Fun, right? Halfway lift, breathe in. Fold and exhale. Let's string all of those poses together. Chair pose. Inhale, feel the stretching. Exhale, feel the strengthening. Halfway lift, breathe in. Hands on your mat. You could lunge back or jump back. Lower the push up. Face your chest up. Inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. Right leg, lift it up, and then step it up to the front of your mat. You can keep your back heel lifted. Come all the way up into crescent lunge. Go ahead and take your arms back to the airplane, and then circle them right down onto the mat and step back to the push up again. We do a lot of push ups. <laughs> face upward, face backward. You do as many as you want. Left leg, way up high. Step it all the way up to the front of your mat. Not always pretty, right? Come up to a crescent lunge. Sweep your arms back. Make a circle all the way down your mat. Lower your push-up. Face, upward dog, inhale. Downward dog, exhale. And those of you who practice with me regularly. Now you know why I don't practice with you ever. <laughs> so you don't hear my heavy breathing. Take a deep breath. We'll do that whole thing again. Ready? Take a deep breath. Bend your knees. Walk or jump to the front of your mat. Halfway, let's breathe in. 
Exhale and fold down. Chair pose, inhale. Maybe a lower chair. Fold over your legs. Halfway lift, breathe in. Hands on your mat, maybe you're lunging back, one foot at a time. Come forward into your low push-up. Face your chest up, inhale. Down dog. Right foot, try not to reach it up to the sky. Try to step right from your down dog. Foot to your hand. Back heel drops down to the center of your mat. We're moving into warrior one. Warrior one posture. Take a full breath in here. Maybe you clasp your thumbs overhead or your hands and lunge a little deeper. Hands come down on your mat, exhaling your way to the low push-up. Inhale your way to upward dog. Exhale your way to downward dog. Inhale up to warrior one on the left side now. Hands down on your mat, step back, exhale. Inhale, face up, exhale back. Take a deep breath in. And on this one, your exhale, stick your tongue out and say, ah. that gets rid of a little angst for me. Take a deep breath. Open your mouth. <laughs> and then walk your feet to your hands. Halfway lift, breathe in. Exhale, fold down. Shake your head around. Shake it no. We know, right? That what's going on right now is not, shake your head a little faster, don't hurt yourself, not going to last forever, right? Shake your head, yes, we trust all of the people in place in our country to get the job done, to make it safe again for us go out to be with, to practice yoga, and now come into chair pose. Chair pose, Utkatasana. It means awkward, right, awkward squat. Take your arms behind your back, if it's possible, otherwise you might grab a, a little towel, a dish towel, a hand towel at home, maybe you even have a yoga strap or a jump rope or something. Right, one of the kids, and then squeezing your arms together, right? If you can clasp your hands, clasp your hands, and then stretch your heart forward, sink your hips back. Take a deep breath, and now here, release your hands right to your heart center, keeping the positioning of your back that you've created. A deep inhale lifts the chest, on your exhale, turn so that your right elbow goes onto your left knee or just on top of your thigh. This is a twist in the squat position. Breathe in and breathe out. Draw your right hip back so the right knee goes back in line with the left knee and then press on your bottom elbow, lift your chest and put a little bit of that upward dog sense, right, of stretch in your chest. Open your arms, one breath, one big breath here, and then exhale and fold right over your legs. Shake your head. <sighs> this isn't gonna last forever. And the people in charge are up for the, Challenge, this is the biggest challenge in history. <sighs> to get us safe again and to stop any more deaths. 
Interlace behind your head. Stretch the back of your neck. Trust, shake yes. Hope, shake yes. Faith, all of it. We need it. Hands on your knees. Lift up your chest. Come into Utkatasana. Sit down or sit up, maybe even a couple of times, just down and up. And then find the down position. Bring your hands once again behind you to touch. If you can, bend your elbows, interlace your fingers, touch your palms together, then squeeze your shoulder blades in. Take a deep breath in and just simply feel, feel the area of your body, front of your chest, collarbones, front of your shoulders. An area that can tend to, hands to heart, collapse. Right, collapse on a good day and collapse in the challenging times even more. Take a twist, left tricep comes to the quadriceps, press your palms, set your hips back, draw your hips back and down. Pull your left hip back, press your left elbow down. Take one more breath here. Now remember Uddiyana, squeeze your belly in, belly flies in and up, and then open up your arms. One or two. Take a deep breath right here. Maybe you're looking up, and on your exhale, fold right over your legs. Take your peace fingers. Peace, everyone out there in YouTube land or in Bristol Parks and Rec land. Peace fingers, grab your big toe. Create the halfway lift again. Pull in your belly. Lengthen your neck without cranking your neck. Draw your shoulder blades in your back. Now pull on your great toes with your peace fingers. Your palms are facing one another. Then begin to stretch your legs long and reach the top of your head to your yoga mat. Slide your shoulders up towards your ears and then slide your shoulders away from your ears. Stay there. Practice a breath upside down. Practice landing your eyes to one point and now release your toes. Step onto your hands with your palms up. And this is gorilla pose, right? So the poses have the names of the, the animals. This one's gorilla. One hand at a time might feel good for you or both, both hands. And then go ahead and draw your chest forward. You could put a bend in your knees and then have a little bit of a tug of war. So press on your, your feet down on your hands and try to pull your hands out from underneath your feet. Gorilla pose. You're at home with your kids and they're up for it and you want them in the room with you for your yoga practice, bring them in, bring them in for as much or as little as they are up for. Maybe on a day like this, if you're doing this on a beautiful day, they're outside. Okay, bring your toes <clears throat> and heels together to touch. Lift your heels up, so your toes, big toe mounds and inside of your heels to touch and bring your knees to the backs of your arms. And the kids will love this posture. This is called crow pose. Lean forward, <clears throat> grabbing your mat, looking forward, picking your feet up off your mat, a crow. And then deep yogi squat. So come right into your squat. So you practice that crow to get your toes in the air. And if you wear glasses, you want to make sure you have no glasses on in case you topple forward. Okay. 
Use your elbows to stretch your knees and lift your heart up. Practice ujjayi breathing. And then slowly your fingertips come to your mat, lift your hips up, toe heel your feet in together. And now rise all the way up to standing, come all the way up. Inhale, reach your arms up over your head, sway from side to side. And right here, interlace your fingers over your head, stretching out your index finger and your thumbs can cross. Rooting down onto the bottoms of your feet, stretch your body nice and tall. And then now side bend over towards your right. Creating a half moon with your body. Inhale, take your arms up. And on the exhale, right over to the other side. So I'm looking now at the mural on the wall behind me and how the story goes. The history of the mural. Take a deep breath in. When this community center in Bristol, Rhode Island opened, it's part of the Parks and Recreation Department. They had a room, many rooms. And the building was actually donated by the Army National Guard, and they were adamant that this beautiful building, you can't see all of it, but it's a beautiful building, was um, left for the town of Bristol, specifically Parks and Recreation. Tree pose, lift up your right foot, place it on your left inner thigh. And so this room was all cinder block. It still is. This one has paint on it. Okay, press your legs together and bring your hands together at your heart center. And um, this local woman named Regina Christmas, that's her name. Beautiful, right? Interlace your fingers at your chest, stretch your palms out forward, and then inhale your arms slowly up over your head. So balance is an important practice. Open your right knee towards the right. This local woman, Regina Christmas, came into the community center when it was fairly new. And she's a local artist and said, I would love to paint a mural on a wall in the community center. Sharing her talent, sharing her gift, hands to your heart, right foot down on the mat. So the directorship here said, okay, what room will we put it in? And this was a little exercise room before, before this beautiful cork floor came into play and it became the yoga room. Place your left foot high on your right thigh, hands to your heart. Practice balance, practice breathing, and practice core. Core fires back. And on this tree, both arms wide open, branches. Okay, so these two walls, there's one that you cannot see in this wall by me. Okay, beautiful hand painted with those little tubes of acrylic paint and a, and a little paintbrush. She created two walls that look like the one behind, that you can see behind me in like, I don't know, a couple weeks. Amazing, amazing gift. And she shared her gift with us. Hands to your heart, both feet down on your mat. Okay, one foot comes up and then the other. One foot shakes out and then the other. Inhale, reach your arms over your head. Exhale, fold down over your legs. Halfway lift, breathe in. Exhale and fold all the way down. Rise all the way up to standing. Hands to your heart and pause. Okay, practice a pose called half moon. Take your, take your right toe behind you. Right toe behind you. 
arms down by your sides. We'll start with airplane. So stand tall, so you root down into the standing foot, inner ball mound, and then come forward into your airplane. From the airplane, we're gonna transition into a different version of half moon pose. So get your back leg very active here and allow yourself to <laughs> fly. And then take your left hand down to, I have a block over here. A block is nice for this. If you even have a water bottle, you could put your hands on the water bottle, your hand, right? And you place your hand down under your shoulder and your opposite leg and arm is up. This is a different half moon pose, two half moons today. Right, so the block helps to make my arm and leg the same length, squares things up. Take a deep breath and exhale. On the back leg, lift it, lift it up as high as your hip if you can get a sense of that and pull your toes towards your face. One more breath, half moon pose. And now stand all the way up and bring your arms over your head. Hands to your heart. Okay, we have another side. Left foot steps back. Arms sweep back. Root into the big toe mound of your front foot and then begin to come into airplane. Back leg rises, chest lowers. All right, so practice the airplane first on your way to your half moon. So you can put a water bottle under your hand. Uh, maybe, I don't know, you could grab a pillow or something close by and then practice, practice. Standing on one leg, facing your hips to open up, lifting up, lift up, lengthen up. Take one more breath and be nice and graceful coming out of the half moon pose or not. Deep breath in, hands to your heart, take yourself lightly. That's one of my takeaways from yoga over all these years. Inhale, reach your arms up over your head. Exhale, forward fold, down over your thighs. Halfway lift, breathe in. Hands on your mat. Step back, come to downward facing dog. Notice how much warmer you're feeling and body, right body joints more open. Right, this just happens. You don't even have to really try hard. It just happens, like the practice, the poses, the breathing. It's a wonderful time to excavate, excavate dark and heavy and make space for new and light. Take your right leg now up towards the ceiling. Bring your knee forward and place your right knee down by your right wrist. So your knee is on your mat in line with your hip. Now right now my back leg is straight, but I'm going to bend it and I'm gonna sit right down onto my right hip. Take my right foot parallel to the front of the mat. And then turn your body like you had warrior one hips. So the back leg is bent. You can't see it because the colors are all dark here, but the back leg is bent. This is good for athletic runners and bike riders. Take a deep breath in athletes, soccer players, right? So your hips are squaring. And then now with your leg, right? Nice straight line across the front edge of your mat. Come down onto your elbow. 
And then it's always, how does that feel? If that hurts, you'll, you'll come out, right? You'll just come back up, stay right here. And maybe you come down onto both elbows, both forearms. And then take a deep breath in, let your head relax. And this is the pigeon stretch that targets the outer hip rotator muscles. Stretching the sides of your body longer over the side of your leg. And now come on up. Come right onto your hands and your knees. Come up off your knees and stretch your right leg out. Bend your knee, roll your hip open. And then come back to your downward dog. Left leg, lift it up. Bring your knee up to your left wrist. Back leg is straight to begin with. This is your half pigeon. And you might even take your chest high. It's nice, right? The pigeon chest. Bending your back knee, sitting onto your side hip. Now take your foot parallel in line with the front edge of your mat. And the back leg, bend it, bend it quite a bit. And then sit up nice and tall. So create your foundation in the posture, lift up out of the foundation, and then begin to fold down. Nothing forced, right? Nothing forced. And totally your own. Yoga is your practice. It's your practice always. Sometimes it's intimidating to do it in a group of people who you think they've, they know all the poses better than you. I know I've been in that mindset. Take a deep breath in, right? But it's just you. It's you making your shape with your body any given day. So today, this is your shape, my shape today. And then begin to come onto your forearms, onto your hands, onto your knees. Off your knees, left leg rises up, bend your knee, roll your hip open. And now come down onto your mat, sit down on your mat. Sit in Supta Baddha Konasana, so I think I'll go side view. Take the soles of your feet together, it's a butterfly stretch. Soles of your feet together, hands behind you, sit yourself up off your mat, and then place yourself back down on your mat. Grab a hold of your ankles and sit up tall. Throw your ears back over your shoulders and pull your chest through. I feel the stretch in your inner thighs. And then take your right leg out long and your left leg out long into a V straddle. Straddle your legs. So if you want to turn on your yoga mat and sit on the long edge and have one heel to one, one front side and the other heel on the other corner. Take a deep breath in, arms up over your head. And on your exhale, reach for your big toes and just get a fold. It doesn't have to be a big fold and you can bend your knees if you need to. All right, so it's uh, not usually the case that we land in our deepest expression or our final expression on the first breath. So take five breaths right here. Inhale and exhale. Think of all the good you're doing for your hamstrings, for your lower back, for your lungs. In yesterday's class, I spoke a great deal about the importance of healthy lungs, especially with the coronavirus. It's attacking the lower lungs. 
the virus settling there and making it impossible to breathe. Difficult, impossible to breathe. That's why we need the, all the equipment. Take a deep breath in and exhale. So healthy lungs, huge priority. Thigh bend stretch, right hand to left toes. Come on up, other side bend stretch. Back up, and then take your knees in to center. Okay, legs out straight out in front of you again. Lift your, your seat up and draw it back. Pull your toes back. Legs nice and strong. Inhale your arms up over your head. Taking a forward fold, some of you may, may like a strap for this. Or towel, towel works great. Or maybe you're reaching your feet and simply fold right over your legs. I like to tuck my, my hands underneath my calves to help with a little bit of leverage and just stretching right out of your lower back. Maybe you're doing a little more sitting than you're used to, or maybe you're doing a little more running around. And just feel into your muscles and bones, ligaments and tendons, the fascia, the connective tissues in your body. And breathe health, breathe life into every single cell, right? So it takes practice after practice after practice, day after day after day. And now release your hands. Bring your hands behind you, come onto your feet. You'll make an upside down table. Upside down table. Lift up your hips. Lower your seat down on your mat. Come onto your forearms. Pop your chest up. This is fish pose. Point your toes. Your legs are together, squeezing like one. Press your legs down. Press your chest up and you might open up your throat if it feels okay in your neck. And now from here, tuck your chin into your chest and lie all the way back down on your mat. Bring your right knee into your chest, hug it in. Spinal twist to the left. Notice if you're holding your breath, and that may be something because of what you're thinking about or a sensation that you feel in your body that takes your breath away. And once you become aware of when your breath gets taken away, there's some, usually some insight tied to that. And then your left knee in, and then you begin again, and you start breathing again, consistent, life-giving, right, to each cell, life-giving breaths. And now take a spinal twist to the right, winding down this hour, maybe plus a little bit more. And I can't see you in your home, and this is the last stretch before Shavasana. If you can spare a couple of minutes, gift yourself final resting pose, deep rest, come on to the center of your mat. Make sure your head is not on the floor, but it is on your mat or your towel or your carpet. And then lie your body down. Your feet are apart, your toes drape to the edges of your mat. Your shoulder blades are tucking in and your palms face up. 
Breathe out and surrender any efforts here. <sighs> and this is the, the bow on top of the gift that you just gave to yourself. And with the gift, your yoga wrapped up with a bow, maybe you pass the gift along, right? Share the idea of, and the practice of yoga with others. It starts with the idea moves into the effort and then it becomes a gift it has for me rest on your mat for one minute please give yourself a minute You are a healer. The healing you give to the world can happen as gracefully and naturally as the pine trees touch and heal with their life, their presence. Arousing your senses, they fill you with their fragrance. Their presence changes, your energy calms your fears, lets you know all is well. Know you can stand tall, joyfully be who you are, and grow where you are. You have the ability to touch those around you in the way that heals them without hurting or draining them. One of your gifts to yourself and to the world is that of a healer. You don't have to force it, strive to make it happen. It happens gently and naturally when you love and accept who you are. Open to your healing powers, your ability to heal yourself and those all around you. Receive this gift with joy, share it freely with all you meet, open your healing powers and you will cherish your past. All you have gone through, all you have done. You're a healer. Start to wiggle your fingers and your toes, make small movements. And then your wrists and your feet making a little bigger movements. Inhale, stretch your arms way over your head, slide your ankles together, toes up towards the ceiling and get a full body stretch, a deep breath in and on your exhale, hug your knees right into your chest. Roll over onto your right side in the fetal position. Press yourself up to sit up nice and tall on your mat with your eyes closed or open. And bring your hands together at your heart center. Let's take a moment here, whether it's 
me and you today or me and you and someone else happens to be practicing at the same time or you're with others. So whether it's two of us or more at this time. Let's all take a moment to bow and send out some healing, right? We are healers, healing energy to the whole world, to the whole planet. One by one by one, right? we send our energy, it becomes vast, it becomes very, very big. Lift your thumbs up to your forehead. We'll end practice together with an inhale. And on the exhale, we bow and we say, Namaste. Namaste to you. I thank you very much for tuning in to this, to this yoga class. I wish you well and um, the world to get back to what was our way before a month ago. Namaste.